so hi guys uh welcome back to my channel yeah it's a uh, an honor to have you here of late you have been having s quite frequent power cuts and then of course because based on the work that i do at times i need to work at night but then if you don't have any power i'm left helpless and i was lucky enough to get this button this one that you see here from my uncle yeah, shout out to my uncle, um, Mr. Moravi. Yeah, so what happened, uh, it used to power his car, but then uh, at some point, I guess, the voltage was down, and uh, he had to replace it. So he said, you can have this battery, you can do whatever you want with it. So I decided, maybe, let me use the battery, so that I can be able to make uh, some sort of a power bank, to be able to store some power, in case of any power outage in our area okay, so here we have the battery it's a volt uh, master and uh, it's free maintenance as you can see yeah um, the ampere hours we have here is uh, 65 ampere hours that's the capacity of the battery and it's made in Turkey as you can see here up top uh, we do have the indicators on the condition of the battery if it's green it's uh, good if it's red then you need to recharge and if it's white um, you have to replace it so where do we check uh, on this status of the battery we have this place here as you can see yeah so I made sure I checked after recharging this battery at the battery center and it's green unfortunately you cannot see uh, through this video but then personally through my eyes the naked eye I can be able to see the condition and it's green um, I made sure I went to the charging center at our shopping center and uh, we did some checks I think the voltage was around 11.4 volts and that's why maybe it was not cranking the, the car starter because the car starter will need uh, the full 12 volts to be able to crank up yeah so uh, we, we, we we charged the battery the cost was uh 70 bob 70 kenya shillings which is not bad by the way so we have full charge on this battery yeah so the next step uh, that i needed to do because this is the, the battery will store the electricity in form of dc direct current so i had to source for an inverter and what an inverter does is to convert the current in this battery to an alternating current. Of course, we do have now the inverter here. Now, a company by the name Solamax, they have the best inverters in our country. So it's a 500 watts inverter. And uh, with that, I'll be able to convert now uh, the, the DC current in this uh, battery to AC current. So there we go, we have our inverter SI500VA, so it's a 500 watts uh, inverter, you can see there, and then we have the specifications, uh, it can convert 12, 12 volts DC to AC, 230 volts, then the output rated at 300, I think that's the minimum, and then the peak could uh, be up to 500 watts yeah so for the battery as you can see the voltage it can be 12 but then it can do 10 to 14 between 10 and 14 volts which is good and our battery of course uh li lies under in between these yes so other things we have modified sine wave of course i expect it to be a bit quiet uh no much noise then you have the output short protect so this one can protect you in case you have any surge and then also in terms of overload to protect you yeah so as you can see the things you can power with it you can power a tv you can power a laptop a fan or even lighting basic lighting yes that's up top that's how it looks like so we're going to unbox this Inverter. Yeah, 
so we have uh, some operation menu with instructions on how you're supposed to connect so you're going to go through that yeah so there we go we have our inverter here we have some uh, voltage indicator on this one uh, in terms of DC then this one in terms of AC then we have a switch there and another one here then you have output plugs these are the output plugs where you plug um, your stuff mm -hmm. so you can see at the back you have uh, some cabling here and then we have some warning here do not mistake the polarity if it's positive should connect to the positive side and if it's negative you do the same so you have to be a bit cautious there you have some fuse there and this and then this one is uh the earth the earthing is right here yeah, and all that yeah so you see with those two components we have now the power bank the full power bank for um our electronics as we said here at the back here we saw we have now then you see the where the routing the, the the wires are coming from and they're indicated here the red one is positive and uh the black one is negative as you can see so this red is positive and the black one is negative yeah so you take the red one the positive one and then you clip it on the on the terminal there you ensure you clip it well yeah so that one is fine and then you pick and you be very careful don't mix between the two you have to be very cautious when you are connecting you pick the negative one and then you clip it as well so, yeah so we have the setup ready so you just come here to the inverter and then you switch it on here you see this position you just push that one there yeah so you can see the indicator here it's saying it's on the voltage is close to i think this could be maybe 10 10 or 11 if i'm not wrong and the output here is 220 volts as you can see there yeah so our setup is ready so what we do now we can plug in our stuff and be able to power them let me try to power my laptop now yeah so that's the charger just come here and plug it in yeah, so we have our machine there yeah you see the status uh, 92 percent available and it's charging as you can see the battery indicator there it's blinking yeah so we're having power of course so what happens after your battery is depleted of charge yeah so this uh inverter serves also as a charger it has an inbuilt charger that you can be able to use to recharge your battery yeah and what happens we have a cable here as you can see this plug uh you just connect to your mains uh the normal socket that you connect on your electricity uh, you just connect on your electricity socket and then you leave it at charge and then you, this one should be at low and then it will just start uh, charging your battery yeah yeah so i bought this one at, from uh, solarmax the company here solarmax and the price was uh, 1700 yeah but i believe you can also find them on jumia i think you can also purchase this on jumia the price could be around around 2000 there yeah so it's your choice for solarmax shop they are located along uh, Sheikh Karume Road. Yeah, so you can be able to go there in Nairobi, Sheikh Karume Road, and ask for Solamax, and then they'll be able to uh, sell to you this unit here.
yeah so i'll put the link for jumia down there in the description you can go ahead and make a purchase of this one at least now me I had the free battery so <laughs> i was sorted on that area the output it's around 220 volts and i guess if you want to step it a bit high you have to switch it on here if maybe your voltage is not enough but for now the position is uh, off for this one yeah so that's what we have that's our laptop our computer power bank a very very rudimentary setup okay so we want to see um what else can we be able to uh power with our battery so we just put it on it's connected already connected yeah, so we just plugging okay i have an extension here because i want to now like connect multiple devices yeah so i'm going to connect this extension right here yeah so you can see we have all the devices uh, the tv is okay and also the phone is charging as you can see and the laptop as well and we don't have the overload uh we don't have the overload indicator on so it means we are good so now in the next video maybe i'll uh, try to find out if i can be able to step up and upgrade the kit so that i can have a solar panel and be able to charge the battery instead of plugging in in the electricity because this one maybe can run me for a day but then what if the power is gone for a couple of days of course i need something reliable that can be able to charge the battery yeah so i'll source for the solar panel and then at least we can have a fully independent um power bank for a computer there yeah using the solar panel of course to charge the battery and then uh, i use the battery now to charge the computer yeah thank you so much for watching um once i do the video on the solar thing i'm going to put it here so then you can so that you can watch as well yeah so until next time don't forget to like this video